The Lives of the Saints by Father Alban Butler, February 16th, St. Juliana of Nicomedia. After many torments, she was beheaded at Nicomedia under Galerius Maximianus. St. Gregory the Great mentions that her bones were translated to Rome. Part of them are now at Brussels, in the church of Our Lady of Sablon. This saint is much honored in the Low Countries. Her acts in Belandus deserve no notice. Bede and martyrologies ascribed to St. Jerome call this the day of her martyrdom, which the ancient Corby manuscript places at Nicomedia. The Roman martyrology commemorates today in Cuma of Campania the translation of St. Juliana, virgin and martyr, who was first scourged by her father, Africanus, in Nicomedia during the reign of Emperor Maximian, and then subjected to various tortures by the prefect Evelasius, whom she had rejected as a husband. Later, she was locked up in a prison where she fought body to body with the devil. Finally, after having overcome the torture of fire and boiling water, she was beheaded by the sword. The life of St. Juliana was very popular in the Middle Ages, for John of Voragine devoted a long section to her in his Golden Legend. The best manuscripts of the Hieronymianum say that the saint was venerated in the vicinity of Cumae and Naples. St. Gregory the Great wrote to Fortunatus to ask him for sanctuaria, relics, of the saint for the consecration of an oratory that a noble lady had erected in her possessions in honor of St. Juliana and St. Severinus. It seems that the martyrologies tried to match the dates cited in the different sources through the hypothesis of a translation of the relics of St. Juliana from Nicomedia to Pozzuoli or Cumi. One of the most characteristic facts of the Acts is the discussion that the saint had with the devil, who, transformed into an angel of light, tried to persuade her to accede to the wishes of her father and her suitor. For this reason, medieval art commonly represented St. Juliana with a chain or a rope, preparing to bind a winged demon.